How are y'all feeling? I am Tara Chantel. I am a self-love advocate. I'm a spiritual activist. And I like to talk that talk. I like to have fun. You know, I like to really be in the moment and enjoy life. You know, because I don't know about y'all. If y'all didn't know this, but none of us is going to make it out of here alive. So why not live it up? and enjoy every single moment of this day because life is too short. And I realized this so much by just simply enjoying life and appreciating life and living life. We gotta live, honey. We gotta live, we gotta heal, we gotta truly embrace every single spectacular moment that we have here. Because who else gonna do it? If we gonna wait for somebody to give us permission to live life, then guess what? We gonna be waiting. We gonna be waiting forever. Forever, ever. And you know what? I don't got it in me. I don't got it in me to wait on nothing for nobody. I'm more so interested in creating. Creating the life I want. Creating opportunities. And shining this light in me. This little light of mine. You know, I gotta let it shine. I gotta let it shine. And I think we all should let it shine. And you have to give yourself the permission to shine. You have to have the audacity and be like, you know what? I'm gonna shine my light today. And if it, you know, and if it offends whoever it offends, if it make people go blind, then so be it. That's not my problem. You know what? This is what I learned the most. It's like whatever anybody thinks about us, it's none of our business. It's what they think. It's what they wrapped up in their mind that cultivated them to perceive us a certain way. But if you operating in love, if you operating as yourself, the truest and the realest, how can anybody hate unless they hate themselves? And I know we don't want to go that deep because this life is all about us. Whatever anybody ever thinks about us is none of our business. It never been our business. So we have to truly embrace that, appreciate that, and be like, hey, if it offends you, I still got to do me. I still got to shine this light because if you don't shine your light, now you are disobeying yourself. Now you are portraying yourself because you know what you want to do. You know what it feels like to be you, what it feels like to be true, what it feels like to be real. But only you know that because that's your authentic power. But if you not tapping into your authentic power and you playing small out here, you are limiting yourself out here. You doing the bare minimum out here to make other people comfortable? Now you portray yourself. You have to think about yourself as the whole universe. You have to not allow society to put you in a box. You cannot allow society to put you in a box to limit you for you to play small because they want you to go a certain way in this life. But if you have the audacity to live life in your own terms, to do whatever, what makes you feel good at the end of the day, best believe that's how the world is going to operate in your favor every time because you just live in your truth. You just being you, but you got to understand who you are and what you came here to do. If you know, you know, because they will try to limit you. They will try to put you in this box, right? They will try to tell you that you are just these four walls around you. Don't think bigger than that. Don't be bigger than that. But when you realize that you are the whole entire world within you, it's just like you got to access that. But you got to think like that. You got to be like, okay, I'm going to conquer this four walls and then I'm going to go higher. Then I'm going to conquer the whole building. Then I'm going to go higher. Then I'm going to conquer the whole street. Then I'm going to go higher. Then I'm going to conquer the whole block. 
Then I'm going to continue to go higher. Then I'm conquering the whole state. Then I'm going higher. Then I'm conquering the whole freaking globe. Then I'm conquering the whole globe. Let's go higher now. We the whole universe. Because I decided to go higher. I made it a priority in my mind to think bigger, to be bigger, to actually expand, to transcend and not wait on an opportunity because I can create it. I have all these thoughts in my mind. I have all these ideas in my mind. It's a reason why you have these ideas is for you to release it. It's for you to let it out. It's for you to speak out, for you to write it out. It's for you to do that. If you got something within you that's inside of you, that's compelling you to do something, that means you got to let that out. Just how we got to use the bathroom every day. That's how you got to let it out. When you got to cry, let it out. When you got to scream, let it out. When you got to yell, just let it out. Let it out. You can't hold nothing in. You can't hold nothing in because all you're going to do it hurts yourself. Disobey yourself. Get mad at yourself. Because you, only you know what you should be doing. Only you know the capacity you want to live this life. But if you allow people to sway you in another way, allow people to tell you how to live your life, if you allow people to make you feel small around them, then guess what? You're not in control. You're not in control, baby. You're not in control. <laughs> and it's about taking control of your own life. It's about leaning forward, moving forward one day at a time. One step forward, you know, we gotta, we gotta conquer today first, but we so focus on the future, but it's really harnessing us because we're not appreciating this present moment. Because if you want a good future, let me give you some game real quick. If you want a good future, be focused in the present. Be happy at this moment. Enjoy this day you gotta choose joy okay you gotta choose it it's up to you this is being the creator this is being the controller you gotta choose it you gotta be like you know what today i'ma choose to be great you know what today i'ma choose joy you know what today i'ma choose to boss up you know what today i'ma choose to level up this is what i'ma choose this is what i'ma do Cause guess what? Cause I said so. It be that simple. Cause you said so. Cause it's your life. This your world, baby. Ain't nobody gonna live your life for you. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna live it for you. And if you keep giving someone your script and your movie, then guess what? You gonna continue to be the co-star, okay? And they gonna. They're going to tell you what to do. Boss you around. And you being a slave to your own mind. And you know what? You know what? <laughs> we called for freedom. Everybody wants freedom. We came here to be free. We came here to let our spirit be free. We came here for that. So if you feel like you got to box yourself in. If you feel like you got to march somebody else's orders, yo, it's, it's going to make you a prisoner in your own mind. And that's tragic. That is a tragedy when we are a prisoner in our own mind. Our own thoughts is eating us up. Our own thoughts. We have to think positively. And I know it sounds simple. I know, I know, I know it sounds simple because the negative thoughts will come, but you cannot entertain these negative thoughts, baby. Let it go instantly. Like, ah, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> you are not your thoughts, baby. You're not that. So don't even tie yourself into it. 
Don't even hold on to it. You got to let it go instantly because we all have these thoughts. That is just the humanness of this journey. We are human. We are going to feel emotions, baby. But it's for us to feel it, embrace it, and move forward every day and be like, okay, I'm going to affirm positivity. I'm going to affirm peace. I'm going to affirm freedom. I'm going to speak life over my life. Who we waiting for? Who we waiting for? Who we waiting for to speak life over our own life? Nobody is going to do that for us. We have to do that every single day by affirming the greatness in you. You know, I'm going to tell you this before we head out because we've been talking that talk, okay? We've been talking that talk. <laughs> so, I'm going to tell you this about like truly living for you and thinking positive because nobody can do it for you. You just got to have the audacity to say what you want to say, to mean what you want to mean. And I know I sound like a complete rebel in these streets because I am. Because I am. Who else is going to do it? Who else? Because we can't just be robotically following these made up rules that somebody else created. Somebody else created that system to make you feel less than. We live in a capitalistic society, babe. They want you to buy things you don't need. <laughs> they want you to really buy things you don't need. It's luxury in having a simple life. It's so much luxury there, but we're compiling things and adding things and making things more complicated as it should be. We making life real difficult for our own selves. You know, we be killing ourselves every single day by the choices that we make. So if you choosing to eat garbage every single day, guess what? You about to be garbage. That's what you're going to turn into. But if you intentionally Make conscious moves to better yourself every day. You gonna win, baby. But you gotta have grace on yourself every single day. You gotta be nice. You gotta be nice to you. Why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? I don't like that. I don't like that. That you are mean to yourself. That you're not putting yourself first. That you're not choosing you. I don't like that. You out here being a ride or die for everybody else and you dying. You're killing yourself. How that work? How you, how you riding and you're dying for somebody else? Being lustful for somebody else. You putting somebody ahead of you. Now, you disobeying God. Okay? You doing yourself wrong. So now ultimately you doing God wrong because God is inside of you. God lives within you. And if you don't tap into this power, nah, you gonna feel like the victim in these streets. And I don't want you to feel like that. I don't want you to feel like that. Okay. I don't want, I don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. It's all about you. And I know they will try to say, oh, that is a selfish way to live life. That is actually self-appreciation. This is self-acceptance. This is self-respect. Because if you don't respect yourself, why would anybody respect you? Why would anybody listen to you? Why would anybody be on your team? If you're not even on your own team, you're not even playing for yourself. You're plaguing yourself. Honestly, that's what you're really doing. <laughs> you're plaguing yourself. And you are betraying yourself. You can't be no ride or die for other people because you're truly going to hurt yourself. You're going to play yourself because you're operating from lust. Because if somebody really genuinely unconditionally love you, they would not want you to die for them. They wouldn't. They wouldn't ask you that. 
They wouldn't ask you to do that. <laughs> they wouldn't. They wouldn't. We're not operating from those vibes, so. Well, that's that. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> so that's just the truth of the matter. That's the fact of the matter that no one that genuinely loves you wants you to hurt yourself. That genuinely loves you would not ask you to do things that they couldn't do for themselves. So say no. That is your power. That is your free will. That is how you keep your sanity in these streets. That, that is how you show yourself love. This is how you display boundaries. And this is how you teach people how to treat you. By saying no. You can say nah. I'm good. My favorite no thank you. With a smile on my face. And simply keep it pushing like that. But never allow others to see you sweat. Never allow anyone to take you out of your character. Never allow other people to have your power. All 2022, nobody can make me mad. I'm gonna keep it real. You can't make me mad. Because if you make me mad, that means you trying to control me. I'm giving you my power. But you gonna have to rise up to get to me, baby. I ain't going low. I'm not lowering myself to get to you, to meet you there. You gonna have to rise up and grow up, wisdom up to get over here. Meet me where I'm at. But most people wanna see you sweating. Most people wanna push your buttons. Most people wanna make you mad. But that ain't none of your business. What they wanna do to you what they think about you. That ain't none of your business. Let them think whatever they wanna think, whatever they cultivated in their mind. Most people are in a prison. Most people are in a prison in their own mind, in their own thoughts that they have created in their own reality. So if you don't shift your mindset to work in your favor, so you can win every altercation, every situation, every obstacle to switch it to what can I be grateful for in this moment? You gonna rise every time. You ain't going low. You ain't stupid low because if you don't learn these lessons, they just gonna come back around. So get it right the first time by listening to your intuition. Listen to that intuition. You gotta tap in, tap in. Tap in, tap in.